Hi, this is Kenny Woods with Balance Endeavor University, and today we're going to talk about fun. Now, when I talk about fun, I talk about recovery, being fully energized uh, at a maximum amount. Uh, and typically, everything we do is not considered fun. So we, we generally have some activities which we do consider fun. And what I'm talking about when I talk about this type of activity, it's usually an activity that energizes you. And there's two different points I want to make. How to maintain and prepare so that you're at a high level of fun. And then how to recover fun or energy when you're in, a, in an environment or with people that exhaust you. Uh, and this can be done on the spot uh, with some minimal preparation, but you don't need a lot of preparation to recover. So let's talk about preparation and training for fun. First thing we have to do is recognize who we are. Are we the people who enjoy high energy, athletic type uh, activities, people that require a lot of energy in music, either through instrum instrumentation or voice? Are we a type of people that are energized by quiet? <clears throat> we want to be all alone with a book in a bathtub to get re-energized. So there's two type of people in that direction. They, wanna, they either want a lot of activity or they want minimal activity to get energized. The other group of people are those people who enjoy people or those people who enjoy privacy. You need to kind of take a mental note of who am I? What energizes me? People or tasks? Um, and high activity, high energy activity, or low energy activity. If you can determine that, then you can prepare your day uh, so that whatever activity you're doing, you can either start with that type of activity or you can be sure you schedule that activity some type of day so that you'll be energized throughout the time. Me personally, I need some quiet time uh, by myself uh, when I'm doing my devotions. And then later in the day, I need people. I want to be able to share what I've learned with people. That's what energizes me. So I'm looking for people who are looking for things uh, that, they can, that, that, that can help them. Other thing I enjoy is competition. Uh, I like playing a game. So I figure out how to make it a game no matter what so I can win. Um, that's, that's what energizes me. Now, <clears throat> what do we do when we're in an environment, if we're a people person, and there's no people around, or what do we do if we're, we, we really enjoy high activity and there's, <clears throat> there's, uh, we're in an environment where there can't be activity. Um, here's what you do. It's called, you prepare just a little bit and you determine what you can control. We can't always control our environment. We, we, we can prepare to recognize what we can't control. The thing that I do that's most fun is golf. And there's lots of things in golf that you can't control. You can't control the weather, you can't control your playing partners, you can't control your swing, you can't control where the ball goes. So you can't control your score. Uh, so you don't focus on those things. You don't uh, make a big deal over that. You can set a goal, okay, I want to shoot a 72 or par, but that's not where you focus on. Uh, that's, you have no control over that, so there's no sense in putting any energy there. So. When something negative happens or you're in an environment that, that's not energizing to you, find out what you can control. Um, if there's somebody that irritates you, pre-plan ahead of time. When they do something that aggravates you, pre-plan how you're going to respond. Uh, and it's best if you respond positively. Uh, and then when you respond, however you pre-plan to respond, Affirm that. Give yourself a maybe a nonverbal yes and a fist pump, but do that. You can do it quietly and you, and you just won part of the game and you'll notice that as you begin to focus on what you can control versus what you can't control, you can find that you can keep your energy level elevated. Uh, physiologically, you keep the DHEA in your brain up, you keep the cortisol down. Now we go through different 
seasons, uh, weekly and daily needs of energy. So, so be aware of that. It's not always constant. It's not the same year round or week to week. So be aware that there are, there are fluctuations in the, in the needs and the oscillations of energy need so that you can have fun. So discover what activities energize you. Discover if people or privacy energizes you. Let me know. Give me your feedback. I want to know what your pros and cons are. And uh, check, check, check all that out and more at KennyWoods.com, including the other four pillars that can help you become uh, an outstanding entrepreneur. Have a great life.